We're just about to arrive at headquarters. We never would have gotten this far without Nina. I'm really grateful to her. We're here. The fog is thick here, too. We might run into some monsters, so watch out! Well, well, it's Briscoe. So you're all right, huh? Yeah. A lot of stuff happened, but we're still alive. Good to see you're all right, too. How were things at home? The house was empty. Everybody must have escaped. But Jonesy wasn't there, either. I'm worried. Jonesy? Our pet rabbit. Oh, okay. Well, I bet your family took him with them. So what about the chief? Did you already talk to her? No, I was just about to go and when you two showed up. Good timing. Now we can go in together. Okay, fine. I guess we might as well. Good. Okay, now. Let's really let the chief have it this time. We've really got to let her know in no uncertain terms. The teams go through hell out there when we're covering the news. Especially this time. The government issued an evacuation advisory, but she sent us out anyway. A lot of our colleagues have disappeared. Some of them are even dead. Like Pamela. I'd like to make that damn chief go through the same thing poor Pamela went through. Yeah, well, you know. Damn straight! And you know what else? She'd better make damn sure she doesn't go exposing any more of us employees to danger. And she'd better let the ones who are left evacuate. I'm gonna make her promise! And you, you get it all on tape, all right? That's a pretty good idea for you, Briscoe. If you get it on tape, even the Chief can try to worm her way out of it later. Hi, everybody. After that very emotional diatribe from Briscoe there, I want to welcome you back to more Michigan Report from Hell. We are in a very destroyed Zaka TV Central building, I assume. Yikes! Monsters! Pesky run! And it appears the monsters weren't very far behind us. Fire! Thankfully, there's only two of them in this rather tricky pincer movement here. Get it! Get it! Not bad, huh? Yeah, baby! You did it! Yeah, like usual, the reporter, our new reporter, Justine, is still a crack shot. But before we continue on, get a little bit of suspense. Uh, it definitely seems that uh, this Zaka TV building suffered pretty much the same fate as the other Zaka TV building. And yet again, it seems very deserted. Kind of makes me wonder why the chief would still be here well, alone. Okay, let's go. But there actually aren't many taggable things in this particular level overall, even though the the length kind of makes you think that the stage might be uh, a bit longer. And I'm not actually sure who Robbie Adonis is. I don't think the name has been referenced before, but maybe much like the Balboa Brothers, it's a reference to another Suda51 game. 
And rather interestingly, if we did investigate that laptop, we would get erotic points, but we would lose out on some suspense points from investigating this computer. And it appears to be another letter between D and S. Just going on about how the military is, well, like we found out before, doing something within Chicago that seems to coincide with, well, the mysterious fog. Hey there. Also this, wow, it's a rather odd looking mouse. Oh, it's not a mouse at all. It's actually a rat. Apparently the Zaka TV building is just full of rats, as we saw the previous time we actually went to the other Zaka TV building. But there's actually just one more thing I really want to investigate in here, and it's more or less a bit of an oddity, I suppose. And it's, well, one of these two waste paper baskets next to the copier here. Now, it says that there's nothing in them, but after we finish investigating them, we get a moral point for some inexplicable reason. I'm not actually sure why we do that. So the chief's in there, huh? Okay, let's go in. All right. Get ready for a very, very lengthy conversation. Excuse me. I'm Justine Rhodes. What's going on? What's this disturbance? And a camera, too. What's the meaning of this? We have something very special we'd like to discuss with you. Oh, you do, do you? And what might that be? Well, you see... Hey, what's the matter? Go ahead and tell her! Yes, well... Speak up now. It's your job to communicate, isn't it? Yes, you're right. Of it. What do I want to go out of my way to make the chief mad at me for? How come you're making me say it? You do it! Hey, hold on. I don't want the chief mad at me either. What are you two whispering about? You're being very rude, you know. Uh, alright. Fine. I'll say it then. Listen, Chief! Hmm. Let's see. Your name was... Briscoe, wasn't it? Y y yes uh, that's right. Briscoe. Uh, gee... You know my name? Wow! I'm honored! You have a reputation for doing fine work out in the field. You're the number one candidate for this year's Flare Award. Uh, am I really? And of course, I've been thinking about a suitable promotion for you. Wow, uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Wait a minute! What happened to all that stuff you were saying? Oh! Right! Of course! Now, listen here, Chief! You deliberately ignored the government's evacuation advisory. You demanded that the news teams go out and cover stories. You unnecessarily put their lives in jeopardy. Oh my! I never demanded that the teams do anything. Just shut up and listen. 
and listen good, Chief. I, John Philip Risco, say this as a representative of all Zaka TV news teams. We refuse to get kicked around anymore. My, my. This is fascinating. Do go on. So this is what you're going to do, Chief. Find out what happened to every single news team member that disappeared. And make sure we all get safely evacuated. You're going to do these things and you're going to do them right away. You got that? And you're going to apologize to and compensate the families of the team members who died. I want you to promise you're going to do these things right here in front of this camera. There's no need for that. All those things have already been taken care of. Oh, they have? But, hey, wait just a minute. Show me you're taking this seriously. Don't delegate these things to your staff. I want you to take care of them personally. Briscoe, let me share something with you. Five hours from now, there'll be a military rescue transport at the airport. That's the military. Do you hear me? I negotiated for this with General Sanders personally, you see. Now, I hope you're beginning to understand. Oh, I see. A military transport, you say? Well, that's great. I guess somebody as important as you would have lots of high-level connections like that. Gee, I... Well... So, Briscoe, would you like to be on that transport? Well, sure. Of course. You want to get out of here? Yes. Uh, I'll do anything. Well, then I have a little favor to ask. A favor, ma'am? What is it? One of our men is being held in detention in a certain place. Held in detention? What for? Please, don't ask. The man's name is Glenn Buckland, I believe. With the confusion of the evacuation advisory, I'm afraid he was left behind, still locked up. We just can't leave him there now, can we? I'd like you to go rescue him. Mm, okay. You want to make sure every single employee is all right. Isn't that what you said? Well, yes. Yes, of course. So, where is this guy being held? In a research room at the Von Erich Library. A research room at the library. Got it! We'll get him out of there. And as I'm sure you've realized, this could be a big scoop. You know, a dramatic rescue scene. Make sure you get it all on tape. And as for your report... Yes, ma'am. Your work hasn't been quite up to snuff lately. A news reporter has to be professional and accurate at all times, you know. Yes, of course. But I don't think... A pro never makes excuses for herself. Take the chance you're given and get it right. This next report will be your moment of truth. Yes, ma'am. I'll do the best job I possibly can. You do that. Very well. That will be all. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Excuse us. Well, that was pretty disappointing, Briscoe. I don't know what happened. I couldn't help it. 
It was like I couldn't go against her, you know? Didn't you feel the same way? Not especially. At this particular moment in time, she just happens to be my boss. So what? Who knows, in five years, our positions could be reversed. Yeah, right. Man, you're really something! But never mind that. Let's get to that library. I want to show that woman what kind of report I can make when I put my mind to it. Sure! Jesus Christ, what an incredibly long scoop! See you next time.